This video covers question five, part A from the 2022 AP Calculus AB free response section, no calculator allowed portion. So they start us off by giving us a differential equation up here. Don't freak out when you hear that term differential equation, right? Differential equation is just fancy math talk telling us that we have a derivative for our equation. So we've got a derivative given to us. Cool. We've had that happen many a times in our life before. Then they're telling us that our graph, our initial condition, that whatever the original graph was, had this one point on it, f of 1 equals 2. Then part A is specifically asking us, it's saying, all right, so you've got this slope field down below here. So that's a graph of the slopes based upon our differential equation. It's basically a graph of that derivative up above. And then they want us to sketch the solution curve through that point 1, 2. Well, the point 1, 2 is sitting on our graph right here. And now what we need to do is we basically, I usually just use that point as my starting point, And I kind of, it's like, old school, um, you know, connect the dots at some level is what you kind of want to think about it. So starting at that point, these are the slopes that I should be following. So it's telling me that my graph should be going up. So following that slope, I'm going up, I'm going up. And then right around here, I need to level off. Whenever you've got those horizontal slopes, you know that that happens when you see maxes or mins, depending upon what's going on with it. So make sure when you hit those horizontals that you definitely hit a max or a min with your graph. And then you're just going to follow it down, follow it down, follow it down until you leave the graph on this side. And then we're just going to play the exact same game going the other direction. This time it I would be going down, going down, hit a horizontal, so I want to min this time. Then follow it up, follow it up, follow it up, follow it up, hit a max, follow it down, follow it down, follow it down, and I'm out. So, it's you know, don't overthink it. It's kind of like connecting the dots from doing like an elementary school little game. So it's pretty straightforward once you put it all together. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please click that like button and subscribe. And also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming AP Calc test. You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.